Hi, I'm Carrie Fuller, Director of Education for Babe Hair Extensions. And every once in a while, we'll have a stylist call with a question or concern about how to remove and reinstall our fusion extensions. Each type of fusion extension needs to be removed and reinstalled properly to avoid damage to the hair. So in this video, we're gonna cover exactly how to remove and reinstall our fusion extensions. So in order to get started, there's a few items that you're gonna need when you do this. So first thing that we're gonna need is our keratin bond remover. This is an alcohol-based remover that's going to break down the bond in the hair for easy removal. The second thing that you're going to need to remove is our deluxe tool. This tool is a multi-purpose tool that has several functions. The function that we're gonna use for our fusion extensions is the grooved teeth of this tool. It's gonna to break down that bond in the hair, again, for easy removal. Now to reinstall our fusion extensions, you're gonna need some items as well. The first thing that you need is our rebonds. The rebonds are small pieces of keratin that are used to replace the old bond that is removed from the hair and reinstalled into the client's hair. The next thing that you're gonna need is our Pro Disc. Our Pro Disc is used to section off the hair and keep the flyaways away from the section that you're working with. And then the last thing that you're gonna need is our melting connector. Our melting connector is used to fuse the hair into the client's hair for proper hold and secure placement. So now let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do is turn our mannequin so that you can get a better view of the fusion extensions that we already have installed in her hair. So we have two strands installed in her hair that we're gonna go ahead and remove. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our keratin remover and we're gonna apply that keratin remover soaking each one of those bonds. We wanna make sure that we completely and thoroughly saturate each bond in the hair. We're gonna allow that to set for between 30 and 60 seconds. And then we're gonna take our deluxe tool and we're ready to remove them. Now, as we remove them, we want to place the bond into the grooved part of those teeth. And then we're gonna press those teeth down into the bond. We wanna press it all the way down the full length of the bond turn it onto its side and press it again. And you can see that bond starting to fall apart or come loose from the hair. It will turn kind of a powdery white color and that's how you know it's ready to be removed. So once you feel like it's ready to be removed, just hold on to the client's hair and gently pull on that extension and remove it. Now, as we remove it, we wanna do a couple of things. If we're going to reuse this hair, we want to make sure that we pull it out and we keep that old bond intact so that we can easily remove it and reuse the hair. What we don't want to have happen is to have all of this hair shed and fall free from the strand and then it would no longer be good to put back into the hair. So we're gonna take out the second one. Again, placing it inside of those teeth. Turning it onto its side pressing, and just back and forth until we see it start to break that bond down. Again, once you feel like it's loosened up, grab a hold, hold on to the client's hair, and pull it free. So as you remove it, make sure that we keep that hair intact and that bond intact so that we don't lose those hairs. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and reinstall the extension into the client's hair. So there's a few things that we need to keep in mind. First of all, we need to make sure that we completely remove the old bond from the hair. In order to do that, we're gonna use a pair of shears, an old pair of shears, to remove that old bond. Now, you wanna also keep in mind that by removing that old bond, you are also going to be shortening the length of the hair. So the client needs to understand that by reusing the fusion extensions, they are going to be able to save some money for not having to replace the hair, but each time they are removed and reinstalled, they are gonna get a little bit shorter and some of that hair is gonna be shed from that extension. So they may require adding a little bit extra packages of hair as well. So just make sure that they keep that in mind before you're ready to remove and reuse them. All right, so let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do that. So keep in mind that the section of hair that we take to reinstall that extension on needs to be equal in weight to the extension itself that we're putting into it. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is take that small section of hair, we're gonna clean it up, making sure that it's equal to the weight of the extension that we're putting back on it, keeping all of the small hairs down away from the section that we're working with. Now, then we're gonna take our pro disc and we're gonna place it into the hair at the bottom of that section, keeping it at an off base placement for proper installation. We're gonna secure that pro disc into the hair, making sure that it's at zero degrees. Now, we're ready to go ahead and remove the old bond from our fusion extension. So it's really easy. All we're gonna do is take a pair of shears and we're gonna cut the old bond off of the hair and just remove that, making sure that we keep all of that hair together and we don't allow any of it to shed. Then, we're gonna take our rebond and we're gonna place it onto our melting connector. So, while keeping a hold of the hair, we take our melting connector and we're gonna place that rebond right onto the base of it. And what will happen is it will just start to melt, starting to stick to it so that you can use it and not have to worry about it falling off. So we're gonna take that section of hair and place our strand on top of it. Turn that fusion connector over with the rebond on it and melt it right on top of it. Once we get that secured onto the hair, then we're just going to wrap it around the section, re-securing it to the section that we're working with. Rolling it all the way in so that it's secure at the top and it tapers at the top so that no water or moisture can get inside. Okay, now let's go ahead and do that one more time. All right, so we're gonna start with sectioning making sure that we get a nice square section that's clean and equal in weight to the extension that we're gonna put place on it. Gonna follow those little strays. Place that pro disc at the base of the section and secure it so that it's hanging at zero degrees. Then we're gonna take our old strand. We're gonna take that pair of shears and we're gonna cut the old bond off so that it's completely gone. We're gonna take that rebond and we're gonna place it right on the tip of that melting connector, okay? Once it starts to heat up, it will melt so that we can turn it over and not have to worry about it falling off. We place that strand on top of the section that we're working with and then place that rebond onto the hair and melt it into place. Once it's melted into place, then we just simply take that and roll it around and secure it just like we would an original bond in the hair. Making sure that it's tapered at the top and so that it hangs down at zero degrees. So it's as easy as that to remove and reinstall our fusion extensions. Now there are a few things that you wanna keep in mind when you're doing this. First and foremost, make sure that you never try to remove the fusion extensions with the melting connector. So you cannot reheat that bond and try to remove it from the hair. It has to be done by using our alcohol-based remover. Also, you do not want to use our tape-in bond remover. It's an oil-based remover and will do nothing to remove the fusion extensions from the hair. Another thing that I like to do when I'm removing my fusion extensions is when it comes to actually soaking the bonds, I will take the remover and I'll actually soak every single bond that I'm gonna remove from the head. So if I'm gonna do a full head removal, I will take the remover and soak every single bond on that head. And then I'll take a plastic cap, put it over the top of the client's hair, place them under the dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes. That just helps to start softening the bonds to make it easier when it comes time to remove them. Take them back out of the dryer and then row by row, reapply my remover and then start taking the bonds out of the hair. It just helps save a little bit of time. So that's all there is to it. For more troubleshooting videos, check us out at our Babe YouTube page. I'm Carrie with Babe. Have a wonderful hair day.